Hey, everybody. Welcome to our Golden Drop call today. We want to thank you for joining us. Anyone who is brand new, please put your name and introduce yourself in the chat, and we will go over those later in our call. First of all, I'd like to tell you the purpose of the Golden Drop, and it is simply to be able to go over products with tips and tricks that you might not know about. And sometimes we do specific highlights and which is what we're doing today. And then the other thing that we do with the Golden Drop is that we will have the highlights at the very beginning of the month of how you can best use the products that are being highlighted for that month with doTERRA. So we call it digging for deals. And we just show you how to get them at the best price and utilize them. The other purpose that we have for this call is that you will never, ever, ever waste your money using your doTERRA products. We want you to know how to use them efficiently in your home and be confident in those uses. So we want to thank you for joining us today. And if you're joining us from the FDA or the FTC, we want you to understand and know that we are not here to prescribe or to diagnose. We are simply here to share our tips and tricks on how to use product precisely and to be able to get some understanding so that we can be safe with our essential oil usage. So thank you for joining us. And so today we're going to talk about Pedigree. It is a new essential oil from doTERRA that comes from Paraguay and is another co-impact sourcing essential oil, which is wonderful because co-impact sourcing is one of those um, programs that sets doTERRA apart from other essential oil companies. And here's how it does that. Co-impact sourcing is specifically designed to be able to bring artisans together from all over the world in different places where doTERRA is looking at the chemistry of the plants that are grown in those areas. And so we bring together all of the, the artisans in that area to make a cooperative so that they get the highest price and the fairest price for their products, making doTERRA a fair trade company. So we wanted to uh, make sure that you knew that this comes from Paraguay. It is definitely part of the co-impact sourcing program. And doTERRA comes in and helps with those programs, helping them have state-of-the-art equipment um, and being able to build up their communities on a financial level. So uh, this particular essential oil, like I said, comes from Paraguay. And it is a sister to the orange, to orange. But we get this, it's a bitter orange tree. Okay, so that's the history behind it. And um, what's interesting about this essential oil, I'm going to end with a diffuser recipe today. And what's interesting about this is that this essential oil has the ability to mimic other scents. So when you first smell this essential oil, you are gonna kinda go, really? Like this isn't really much to you know, sound off about. I think it smells most like bergamot. And bergamot, some people say bergamot, bergamot, depends on where you're from. It is a French word, so that T is silent. So bergamot is, um, it smells most like bergamot to me. And what's interesting is it's one of those essential oils that you can add to most essential oils and it will mimic the smell. So the perfume industry used it for years and they now produce that mostly synthetically. They're not using the real essential oil or they're using the aftermarket stuff. So um, with, with the way that you'll want to be able to use this is you want to be able to use this and diffuse with lavender and bergamot, okay? So a really great recipe for this is going to be, so get your pencils and papers out. And then, Renee, if you will um, type this into the chat for people, that would be really helpful. Um, so here's what it is. Are you guys ready? You want four to five drops of lavender, depending on if you love that essential oil or not, four to five drops of lavender, two drops of bergamot, one drop of pedigree. You can do one to two drops, it doesn't matter. And then I love this part, this is my favorite part. Are you ready? Four drops of wild orange. Now, um, this diffuser recipe is 
delightful. You will absolutely love the way this smells. So um, a lot of people are asking, oh my gosh, how do I get this essential oil? Just hold tight because I want to give you a few more facts because I know that those are some of the questions that people are, are asking because I get text messages all about that. So before we move on to that, um, how do I take how do I take pedigrain? Pedigrain is going to be used specifically for the nervous system, right? It's really going to be one of those calming essential oils. You can take this one internally, okay? So you can use it internally. You want to be able to use it for calming. You want to show that in just a minute? Hold on. Okay, I've got Micah here. He's helping me today. So um, we're going to use that internally. You do one to two drops in a veggie capsule to be able to help calm the, in, um, the internal parts of your body. So maybe you're wanting to get a really restful sleep. You could take it internally um, with some fractionated coconut oil. So one to two drops, fill the rest of it up with, with um, fractionated coconut oil and you will be good to go. So the other way that you can use this is um, you can use it on the bottom of your feet, down your spine, and you will also be able to, when you're done doing this, you'll be able to diffuse it, obviously. But um, you can wear it in a diffuser necklace with any of those essential oils that I had talked about. So lavender, bergamot, and remember, it will pull the essential oil. In fact, if you wanted to use this with white fur, it's going to be really, really calming. Wild orange, it's going to work really well with any of the citrus oils. So um, just play around with it. Okay, so how do I get this essential oil? doTERRA will be going around the nation doing post convention tours, and you can get that in the post convention tour kit with all the other um, products that doTERRA just put out. All of the products that have come out will be available October 3rd. So many people are like, okay, oh my gosh, I love this, so how do I do it? The best way to buy your product is going to be the wholesale pricing, obviously. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, just contact someone who's introduced you to doTERRA that you want to work with, and you have them teach you how to get that. If you are currently working with someone who is teaching you about doTERRA, simply ask how to participate in the loyalty reward program. This is the fastest way to pay it forward to your pocketbook. And what that does is that allows you the ability to be able to purchase doTERRA at the 25% discount, which is the wholesale pricing, plus an additional 10 to 30% off of your product. So you can essentially purchase your products at 55% off of the retail price by participating in the loyalty program. And what happens is every time you make that purchase, doTERRA pays back a rebate of 10, 15, 20, 25, or 30 into your little loyalty reward fund, which you can turn around for $3 for a $3 processing fee and get free product from doTERRA. So this is a great way to be able to give gifts and other things to, um, to people when, or, you know, even get those essential oils like helichrysum and frankincense and the more expensive stuff and cash that in for a skincare kit. So lots of people do a lot of different things with that. The other way to pay it forward is to share. doTERRA is a beautiful hope-giving company where you can share essential oils with anyone and earn your product for free. So if that's something that you're excited about, please get with us or the person that introduced you and we'll teach you more how to do that. So that is all I have to share today, Renee. And do we have any questions from anybody? I don't see any hands raised. Okay, um, diffuser idea for pedigree. Diffuse for pedigree. One to two, one to two drops of pedigree. Honey. Oh, that's our recipe. Okay, so I don't need to have that. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Does anybody else have um, a highlight they'd like to do today? If you do, raise your hand. We'd love to hear from you a tip. Any tips? Any questions? Any comments? All right. We've got a lot of people. Andrea, yep. can you hear me? Yep. Yes, I can, Andrea. Um, I, I'm really dark. Sorry. It's nap time. Um, here's my tip. Um, Hi, Miss Erin. Hi. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. You go take a nap. <laughs> I had, I'm, um, I'm, 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 okay, I'm, okay. I'm, 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 I shut my finger in the car door yesterday. Oh, who is that? Um, like couldn't even get the door open right away. Like it was really stuck in there and um, it was pretty terrible, but I used helichrysum and lavender and a smidge of frankincense and it's just a hundred times better today. I mean, there's no bruising on it. The swelling is all gone. It's, um, it's the tiniest bit tender, but I was really, I mean, it could have been so much worse. Yes. Oh my gosh, that sounds awful. So you used, hel how many drops and how many times a day did you use helichrysum and lavender? Um, I, I've used it, it happened last night and I've done it probably four times, but I did it in the middle of the night too. And um, uh, the first time I was a little heavy handed because I was trying to do it with my left hand and Henry put all the lavender on me. He was really sweet and comforting and helpful. Okay. Um, but just, I mean, it's just enough to kind of, you know, wipe it all over my, my finger. Mm -hmm. Wow. It was, it was starting to, I mean, immediately turn purple. And there's just no purple left on it today. It's incredible. Oh, my gosh. That's incredible. Did you happen to get a picture of it before and after? No, I didn't. Um, yeah, it that was very kind of scene, cool. I don't think that you would. <laughs> I was not thinking about that. No, I couldn't even, we were at a park and I couldn't ow, even really ow, um, drive ow, home. Mommy. Well, you, oh I my mean, gosh. Mommy, so. mommy, okay. mommy. That's crazy. Thank you so much, Andrea. That's a beautiful tip. You're welcome. It's nice Thank to see you. you. Good night, Sophia. Good night, Henry. Bye. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Any other tips from anybody? That's a great tip, you guys. Remember that. Hillichrism is one that every mama and papa should have in their emergency kit. It's truly a blessing. Can you hear me, Sharon? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I don't know. My, my, it's not letting me raise my hand and, or do my, view, my uh, video. Okay. Anyways, hey, this is Tanya Sanders, and I, I posted this on my Facebook page a few days ago, but then um, I just wanted to reiterate it because... Boy, just like with the finger, these oils are a godsend. My daughter and I get eaten alive by mosquitoes if we walk outside for two seconds. And uh -huh. that's what we did at a friend's house. And she got bit about four times on her foot. And, and then she got bit on her arms too. But the ones on her feet look more like horrible spider bites. They turned purple. They're swollen. They're huge. And she's really it looked bad and, and if I wouldn't have known it was a, a mosquito I would have thought huge bad spider anyway so this is what we did last night we put purify on it followed by lavender followed by frankincense I don't know if that's the best order but that's what I did and we got up this morning and there's just a little red dot and I wish I would have taken a picture because I'm telling you guys it looked so bad wow. and to do that overnight. It was crazy. Wow. Okay. So go over that again. One more time. You did purify lavender and frankincense, right? Exactly. I did two drops of each and then I just used a cotton ball cause she wouldn't even let me touch it. It was hurting her so bad. And okay. I just used a cotton ball and kind of dabbed it on there. I put the drop directly on her, on her um, foot and used a cotton ball to kind of get all around that whole area. But yeah, purify, then lavender, then frankincense. Right. That's awesome. So let me share really quickly with you guys um, why lavender is so important when you have some sort of a bite, um, and then why it works with like what Andrea did. The, the reason why specifically for bites, lavender is such a great one, it acts like an antihistamine. So that's what, can, that's what it does inside the body, and the body recognizes it that way. And so when you use that um, lavender, that's why it's in triyeast, okay? Because it's going to help pull and diffuse, right, like an antihistamine. Um, it, it's going to diffuse the, the poisons that are coming, you know, that the body's reacting to. So it's such a great um, essential oil to make sure that you use when you have those situations. In Andrea's situation, she used um, helichrysum, lavender, and I forgot the frankincense. But the helichrysum and the frankincense completely help um, decrease that inflammation, right? It helps the body understand um, 
really tolerates, right, and gets right in there and helps the body with the inflammation piece. And then the lavender is very calming um, and, and really soothing to the skin specifically, as is hilatrism. So that's an awesome recipe, Tanya. Thank you so much for sharing. Truly great. And I'm glad that your bites are better and that she was able to go to school today. Okay, it looks like we've got a chat here. Let me just jump into the chat box. Um, okay, so this is from, I can't, rem I can't see who wrote in, but I cut myself outside on a steel bar on my forehead. Ouch. It was like another scar on my face. I decided to use Correct X and wow, yes. Oh, Kylie. Oh my gosh, that's Kylie because I couldn't see it. Wow, Kylie. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, I love Correct X. That's another one that every every first aid kit needs, man. It's a beautiful uh, cream. I love it because it also, there uh, is not, the, the expiration date is a very long time. It's got a good shelf life, whereas a lot of ointments don't. Wow, Kylie, you're not able to, are you able to talk? I could talk. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Share with us. So you were out, were you in the garage? What were you doing when you got, when you hit that steel? I was out with the chickens on the chicken coop and I just bent over and the bar was right in my way and sliced it in my forehead really good, about an inch long. And I was like, Oh my gosh. Wow. So I came in the house and I, was looking everywhere for the correct X. I couldn't find it. I was really ticked off that we couldn't. I was wondering if we didn't have any. Like, all right, we're putting more of those on our order next month so we can have yeah. extra. Because now I've actually started to use it because I shave every day or almost every day, and I always cut myself. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm just going to put that on there to stop the bleeding and heal it faster. Yeah, right? Um, we have it. We keep Helicism has all those good oils in it, so... Do you, do you happen to have one handy that you could read what stuff is in it? I'll go grab it. <laughs> so one of the things about Correct X, let me share what we have. We have one in the car. We have one in our Band-Aid box. I have one in the medicine cabinet in our kitchen. And then we, I have one in my purse all the time. So it's kind of one of those oils. If you keep it in your car and in your hot area, it will get really liquidy. So, cause it's, it's got, it's so natural. It's not going to have a bunch of wax in it like other ones. So once Kylie gets this and reads it, I would love to hear the products again. All right. It has frankincense, helichrysum, cedarwood, melaleuca, and lavender. Yeah. Awesome ointment. I'm telling you, you could eat it. It won't taste very good, but it's, it's 100% natural in there. So thank you so much, Kylie. No problem. Awesome. Anything else before we depart today? Yeah. I oh. um this is Zena. Hi Zena. I um last week I had like a um I was like kind of sick. I guess I had a high fever and stuff. But I ended up having to go to the um patient first. Uh -huh. And so they told me I had pneumonia, I guess, and they gave me some antibiotics. Okay. I had a very bad reaction to the antibiotics. My mouth swelled up, tongue split, cheeks oh. split, painful, couldn't eat, drinking, water hurt. Um, and I came across, somebody had commented on a post about Melaleuca for mouth ulcers yes. and stuff. Oh my gosh, I love her. I can't remember who it was, <laughs> but the relief was amazing. And it's basically healed. Oh, that's so awesome. Eat, so that makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, so how did you use it? Did you make it I into like a mouth a wash? Drop. No, I just put a drop straight in my mouth. It was oh. like, help. Yeah, Tasty, yeah. Tasty, but it worked. Oh, Xena. Wow. And then I so chased it with like a little coconut oil, oil pulling afterwards. But okay. I did it a drop first, let it do some work and then oil pulled. Oh gosh. Good. Well, that's a, you know, oil pulling is such a good thing after you've had an antibiotic reaction or a reaction to anything, you know, yeah. even if it's a bite. Yeah. <laughs> um, so good to be able to utilize. So way to go. You're so bright. <laughs> 
I love that tip. Thank you so much. Yep. Um, we had someone write in about CorrectX. And D wrote, uh, I used CorrectX for something similar this week. Um, Monday, I was pressure washing my porch and forgot to move something when I was moving it and accidentally hit my hand with a pressure washer, ripped the skin off. It is um, healing so quickly, I can't believe it. Yep. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to pressure wash your hand because that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys, for joining us. Again, to be it forward, just bring people to this call. We love having guests, and if you want to co-host with us, just let us know. Drop us in an email at gogreenessentials at gmail.com. Sorry about that. Um, join us at, at gogreenessentials at gmail.com or connect with Renee at greenessentialsassistant at gmail.com, and we will set you up. And we just love to hear those odd tips and tricks that you use. Um, one of my favorites has been cinnamon in my lip balm. Uh, truly, I use it in my lip gloss all the time. It's, it tastes delicious to me. I remember Nora used it one time, and oh my gosh, so funny. Um, she put it on her lips, and she's like, <gasps> this has cinnamon in it. <laughs> and I was like, I love cinnamon. It's super calming to me. And um, I had a lot in there. I put eight drops in mine. <laughs> so it was really powerful. You can use peppermint as well. So lots of tips and tricks. If you've got something that, I mean, you guys just never know what, what you're using. So thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate all of you and your time. Thank you for being with us. And we will see you again next week. And next week is digging for deals. So we're going to be talking about those and have one little highlight with those. So thanks for joining us and goodbye.